Hi, it's Jason for Feature Radiators. So today we're going to take a look at buying electric radiators. We've got a great range of different designs. So contemporary, traditional, and we do a lot of electric towel rails as well. So your first port of call um, is to work out the heat output you need. So we can help you with that. And we've also done a video to help you out as well. And you can see that using the link below. So as you can see, we've got a lot of great different designs for the traditional side. We've got steel electric radiators and we've got cast iron electric radiators. Come in lots of different sizes, different colours and different designs. And we've done a number of different projects for different people. So we've done national trust properties, for example, because they don't only look great, but they're a great way to heat that sort of space as well. So with these radiators, they do start out as central heating radiators. And what we do, we send you out an electrical element to install on site and a little bottle of corrosion inhibitor. It's really not a difficult thing for you to do. We do send out some comprehensive instructions as well. And we have got a tech guy on hand should you have any questions. We've also done a video on how to do it as well. And you can see that using the link below. Now, this is an example of the element that we use. Uh, and also, you can see it inserted into these radiators. So on these, you've got an off position, you've got a frost protection setting, and you've got three different heat settings. If you want more control than that, there's no issue at all. We do a great range of control systems as well. So you can have a wireless control option or an app-based system. Um, so I'm going to show you an example of these now. So with either of those, you'd wire your flex of your element into a receiver that in turn gets wired into a few spur. Now, a lot of people ask about whether you can put a plug on the end of the flex. In theory, yes, you can. You just need to check with an electrician to make sure it's not going to overload your circuit and they're happy with that type of radiator inserted into that space. Um, if you're going to go for the app-based system, you would need additionally a gateway like that to plug into your router and also a digital thermostat, which is like that. So that creates one zone. Um, any more than one zone, not a problem. You just need to add another digital thermostat there. Uh, one other thing with the elements is um, they come in a great range of different colours, so to complement the look of your radiator. And it is also possible to have them made with different coloured flexes if you do want them as well. We've also got um, an option for an element with Wi-Fi built into it. Unfortunately, I don't have one here. But if you do want to look at that option, just give us a shout and we'll be able to talk you through it. Now, a lot of people do ask about how much it costs to run electric radiators. The one thing with our electric radiators is, sort of installation-wise, the costs are going to be lower because there's no pipe work involved with it. And also, you're not losing heat through the pipes as well. Um, so... What we would say is, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter what type of electric radiator it is. You could be looking at five or, different, you know, five or six different types. If you've got a thousand watt element in the radiator, they're all going to cost you the same. So your savings come from your controllability. Um, the only way to work out your true running costs would be, like, like if you've got a thousand watts, look at your tariff. It normally gives you a price in, you know, per kilowatt hour. So you know, if it were on all time continuously, what it would cost you. But as we've said, because you've got control, um, in theory, once it gets to a certain heat setting, it'll turn the radiator off anyway. Or if you opt for a radiator which has got programmability into it, so you can get it set to when you want it to turn on, when you want it to turn off, it's going to cost you less money. Um, we do have a good range of more modern radiators as well if you do want to look at some options so if we walk this way i'll show you through a few options so a lot of these can be made vertically or horizontally so this one is our electric polar sits nice and close to the wall it comes with its own separate seven day programmable timer i've also got the irad you can see here as you can see it comes in lots of different finishes now with these ones and they've got a switch on them to turn them on or off. You can also use a wireless controller you can purchase separately. And it's got an inbuilt receiver to communicate with that. Or you could use it on our Absolute system, which is the app control based system. Uh, it sits really close to the wall. 
it's very very lightweight and it's got a rapid reaction time as well. This one offers seven day programmability through the use of a separate programmable timer as well. Great range of colours, really nice looking radiator. Again, you can have horizontal or vertical options. If you do want something with everything sort of built into it, then the Dynamo is a fantastic option because it's got its own built-in programmable seven-day timer. Um, again, very good heat output time, good range of sizes, and up to 2,000 watts of heat. If you come this way, this is our slimline curve radiator. Very, very lightweight. It's recyclable aluminium. Really nice curved edges to it. Um, it's all singing and all dancing because it's got its own seven-day programmable binting timer. Really, really well priced and up to 2,000 watts of eight. Above that is our curve E. As you can see, we've got some great colours we can do some at radiators in. Uh, with this one, again, it's made of aluminium. Uh, Good reaction time. Now this one's got its own programmable timer built into the radiator itself. We've even got like marble or granite options if you want them. Now if we look up there, that's our electric Romana radiator. Uh, so with those, they, they, they've got a fantastic uh, range of sizes, good heat output, and they retain the heat for quite a long time because of the nature of the material. It's compatible with both the wireless controller in control option or the app based absolute control option we've talked about as well if you do want something that's a little bit different then again we've got a good range of options as well so this is our super mirror it's made of highly polished stainless steel fantastic heat output with this one it can come with an inbuilt receiver to communicate with either the wireless controller or the app based system as well and if we walk through, and we'll come round here, so I'll come round here and walk this way. So over here, we've got a radiator called Woody. It comes in a range of seven different wood veneers. And because the natural materials are all a little bit different in terms of tone and pattern, again, great heat output. You can have the wireless receiver built into the radiator itself, and you can program it with the in control wireless controller or the absolute system as well. Just behind it here, this is our gong radiator. Now this one comes in a, a good range of finishes and because of the way it's made, every single one's unique, you know, I mean, it's all a little bit different to each other. Again, you can have an inbuilt receiver and you can communicate with the in control or the absolute control system. Um, I hope this helped you and sort of opened your eyes to what's available as well. But if you do have any questions, you can call us, you can email us, we've got online chat, or you can use the comment section below. Cheers.